Hey guys, it's Glenn from glennscarcollection.com and today we're talking about the RS7. One of my favorite Audis, one of my favorite cars. In this video, we're going to give you five reasons why you want to buy one. So first, special thanks to DCH Montclair Acura in Vernon, New Jersey for providing this car. We have a full review of this car, which I'll link at the very end of the video. The last 20 seconds, you'll have some choices from previous reviews. Click on that and watch the complete review. Remember, if you like what you see on this channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss our next video. We post three videos a week. And like and share these videos so our channel can grow. And as always, leave a positive comment below. Reason number one to love this car is this engine. It is a twin turbo, 4 liter V8 producing 560 horsepower. And with a performance package up to 605 horsepower. Second thing to love on this car is right here, the brakes. Look at the shape of those rotors. These huge brakes, steel or optional in the performance package, carbon ceramic brakes, have amazing stopping power for this 4,400 pound car. Third thing I love about Audis is the interior. This is a top of the line interior definitely equal to my Audi S8, and since it's a newer car, I wouldn't even say the interior is a step above. Reason number four why I love the car is right here, the practicality. Whether you're a hockey player like me and need to shove some hockey bags in the back, or you're a golfer, this is a very practical car. Now, rear uh, headroom could be a little bit of compromise, so try it. I'm six feet tall, and it's probably a little tight for me to sit in the back, but... Uh, depending how far you move up that seat, but it is a very practical car. There you go. <laughs> There's a good view of the power trunk. I think it's one of the best looking cars on the road. I think it, it really, it looks stunning in white. And I typically don't like white cars. Driving this car around for that video, I mean, this car was so fast and so all weather capable. And that brings me to reason number five. When you have an Audi RS7 or any Audi, it doesn't matter what the weather is outside. When you live where I live in the Northeast, where half the time it's raining and in the winter half the time it's snowing, this car just goes. When you drive an Audi in the snow with the proper winter tires, it is a beast in the snow. It's raining outside, whether you have summers or winters, you wouldn't even know it's raining. That's how much this car still hooks up when you accelerate. Uh, it still has a ton of traction, all kinds of weather. You never need to uh, check the local forecast when you're driving an Audi RS7. Now, these cars are very expensive, new. This car probably stickered around 135000 right uh, when it was brand new. Now, it is less than $80,000 available uh, at DCH Montclair Acura. So, check it out. I'll leave a link in the uh, description below if you want to actually purchase this car. But I think this is the best compromise. If you're shopping for a new or pre-owned car in that price range, you have to, whether it's this one or another one, but you have to test drive an Audi RS7. The prices now are getting uh, you know, much more affordable than they are when they're brand new. And you're really getting supercar performance. Plus, you can fit your family. You can fit your clients. This engine, I'm telling you, is to die for. This car is just gorgeous looking, especially uh, this one in particular with the white and the black. I think it's just a stunning car. It's very, very comfortable. You know, it's a little stiffer, obviously, than my Audi S8. It's more of, a, I wouldn't say a sports car, but a more, more sporting ride, certainly, than the S8, where the S8 is like a fast luxury car. This is is kind of going to the uh, to the sports sedan. So it's an M5 competitor. Uh, it's an E63 competitor. Uh, there's a lot of those cars on the road. I think you can really stand out by getting the Audi RS7. And especially like where I live in the Northeast, or if you live a place where it's bad weather most of the time, uh, this car will really stand out because you're not compromising any performance. What good is a uh, 500 or 600 horsepower car, you know, if you can't hook up because it's uh, cold outside or slick weather conditions. So thanks again for watching, guys. Make sure you check out the full review of this car. We'll, we'll do a complete review and go over every aspect. It's uh, linked in the description below, which will come up in a few seconds. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell, and I will see you guys next time.